the biggest game in Tahiti's history. Against Argentina, the current world champion. But. Hello my friends. Today, we will embark on a journey into the world of statistics to explore one of the most fascinating topics in the world of sports, the Poisson distribution and its use in predicting football games. I also started with the Poisson distribution to predict football games and over time I have continued to optimize it, until I took the next step to my current AI. I would now like to share some of this optimization with you in this and in further videos. But first, let's start with the basics. Part 1. What is the Poisson distribution? This model is named after French mathematician Simeon Denis Poisson and is a very powerful tool for predicting the distribution of events. It is based on the assumption that the probability of an event occurring in a specific time period is proportional to the duration of the time period and that the events are independent of each other. Part 2. Application in Football Predictions In the world of sports, Poisson distribution can be used to predict the likelihood of events such as goals, cards, or injuries in football games. Data from previous games is analyzed to obtain an estimate of the average number of goals per game. This estimate is then used to make predictions for future games. Specific predictions for a particular game can even be made by calculating the average number of goals per game for both teams and applying the Poisson distribution formula. Part 3 How is it calculated? The Poisson distribution is calculated by combining the average number of goals per game with a special formula known as the Poisson distribution formula. This formula calculates the probability that a certain number of goals will be scored in a game. The formula looks like this. Nice, right? Let's break down the formula and make it a little more understandable. With these two formulas, we can calculate the probability P for the possible goals scored by Team 1 or Team 2, respectively. Let's just look at one of the two formulas as an example and let's examine the individual factors. Pn is the probability that Team 1 will score n goals. n is a natural number that we can choose. These are the possible goals scored by Team 1. We can choose between 0 and infinity. R1, the R value, is the actual average number of goals scored by Team 1. E is the Euler's number, which is a constant. The factor T can be neglected. This is a time factor. Since all the data, for example, game results, that are used are determined after 90 minutes, we also calculate the probability for the possible result after 90 minutes. Therefore, the factor T can be set equal to 1 and is therefore neutral in multiplication. All we now need for the formula, the average number of goals scored by Team 1 and Team 2. In addition, we need to think about which possible results we want to check. For me personally, it turned out that I checked the results in the range from 0 to 0 to 12 to 12. Don't worry. In the next chapter, we will also apply the formula as an example. Part 4, Advantages and Disadvantages. While the Poisson distribution can be a very useful tool in predicting football games, there are also some disadvantages that must be considered. One of the advantages is that it is easy to calculate and does not require complex mathematical models. Another advantage is that it has a wide applicability as it can be used for a variety of events where the average number of events is known. The biggest advantage would definitely be that anyone can use this formula with the least amount of effort. 
One of the disadvantages is that it is a rough estimate that does not take into account the individual abilities or tactical decisions of the players or teams. Additionally, there may be difficulties in predicting if there are significant changes in the style of play or the abilities of a team. The biggest disadvantage is when two incomparable teams meet. Let's take the following fictional results for Argentina. Argentina wins, loses, and ties against the biggest football nations in the world, resulting in an average goal value of 1.45. At the same time, we look at the fictional games of Tahiti. They win against other, weaker football nations from Oceania each game convincingly, resulting in an average goal value of 3.78. What does this mean for the Poisson distribution? The highest probability for the outcome of the game would be 3 to 1 for Tahiti. And let's be honest, that will never happen. Short insert, what do you think, who would have become world champion in 2022 if the games had run according to the Poisson distribution? Write me your guess in the comments now. You can see that the Poisson distribution is unfortunately not logical on some levels. In future videos, I will show you how to work around this disadvantage. When the video is published, I will link it to you in the info card now in the upper right corner. Part 5 Conclusion In summary, the Poisson distribution can be a useful, beginner tool in predicting football matches, but it should not be used as the only criterion. To make the best predictions, all relevant factors must be taken into account. It is also very important for me to mention here that there is not a single prediction program in the world that can predict matches 100%. Even the best AIs in the world can only approximately make good predictions. So please do not believe anyone who tells you they have the perfect prediction program. If someone claims that, they just want to deceive you and, in the worst case, take your money. Of course, my AI does not have the power to be even remotely perfect. I hope you have a better understanding of the Poisson distribution and its use in predicting football matches. In the next video, I will show you the optimization possibilities of the Poisson distribution. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a subscription that would help me and my channel a lot. Thank you.